Scientists are preparing to use Rosetta's final piece of kit after they confirmed the solar-powered craft had landed in a cave near the foot of a cliff on Comet 67P and was running out of time. Mission Director, Paolo Ferri said that it's time to take more risks, we're now coming to the end, suggesting that the team will today conduct a bold drilling operation to get 4.5 billion year old material from the comet. While its precise location is still unknown, early images suggest the probe, fully, landed with two legs on the ground and one pointing into space, which is severely limiting its access to sunlight. Without enough light, and only hours of charge left in its battery, Scientists are now scrambling to get data from the probe before it dies, or find a way to recharge its solar panels and keep fully alive. Scientists have deployed other scientific instruments despite Fully's precarious position, and this morning received confirmation that its temperature probes were successfully deployed last night. Fully is lucky to have landed at all after failure to launch its harpoons caused it to bounce twice before settling. The first touchdown sent the probe flying more than half a mile, one kilometer, back into space. The mission control team are now considering a daring hop using Philly's landing gear to get all the probe's limbs back on the ground. However, there may not be enough power to do this until the comet gets closer to the sun in a few months. This means the lander may need to go into hibernation before it comes back from the dead.